Hey guys, it's Marty here from smartmindedmarketing.com and today I'm going to show you how to build a website for your business or other online project step by step. You don't need any previous web design experience or technical skills and the whole process is only going to take around 30 minutes. So you probably know this already, but having someone design a website for you can be super expensive. That isn't going to be the case today, we're going to be using a website called Wix.com to create our website. Wix.com is a simple drag and drop website editor which we can use to create amazing looking websites in less than 30 minutes. So the first thing we need to do is visit Wix.com. There are two different ways you can do this. You can just open up your internet browser and go to www.wix.com. Or alternatively, to show support to this channel, you can visit Wix by using the link below this video or by visiting smartmindedmarketing.com forward slash Wix. Doing this will earn me a small commission which I can put towards creating more tutorials like this one and making my YouTube channel better. I do just want to point out that using my link won't charge you anything, it just lets Wix know that I sent you. And even if you decide not to use my link, I would still totally recommend you use Wix to create your website. Okay, so before we begin, I'd just like to say thank you very much to anyone who visited Wix through my link, I really do appreciate it. And even if you didn't, thank you very much for watching my video. Once we visit the Wix homepage, we just need to click in the top right where it says sign in, and this is where we're going to create our account. To create an account with Wix, you just literally need to type in your email address and password twice and click register. Because I already have an account and to save a little bit of time in the tutorial, I'm just going to log into my account. Once logged in, we can just click in the middle where it says create your website. Then here we can search through all the different free templates that Wix offer. All of these templates look amazing in their own way. It really just depends on what type of website you're wanting to create. There are different categories on the left hand side as well. So because we're wanting to create a small business website, let's have a look at the different business templates. So each of these templates is literally the general look of the website that we're going to create. I kind of like the look of this one. Once you find one that you like, you can just hover your mouse over the theme and click edit. And once our theme's loaded, we'll be in the main website editor of Wix. From here, we can just click on any of the text or images that we're wanting to change. So here where it says fresh talent on top employers, we can just click here and then up at the top you'll see it now says edit text. So we can click where it says edit text and now we're going to be able to change the font. So here we can change the font and then we can actually just highlight it with our mouse and delete the text and change it to be whatever we want. So my new awesome Wix website and obviously because this is shown up black we're going to want to change the color so we can just highlight the text again and down here we can click where it says color and we can choose a different color so I'm going to make it yellow and then we can just click the X up at the top to close the color picker so now my text is yellow we can see this plus signs kind of getting in the way so if we just click outside of the text, we can now click on the text and drag it around. And we can do the same for this plus sign as well. So what if we added this here? And we can also change the color of the shapes as well. So we could change this to be white instead of yellow. Which now looks a lot better with the yellow text and we can just click and drag them around until we're happy with the position. We can do the same thing with our text down here and any buttons. So we can just click and drag them into position to neaten everything up a bit. Obviously this doesn't look that great, but I'm just trying to show you for the example just how easy it is to edit our website with Wix. We can also click on any images 
and it's either going to say change strip background like this is that's because this image is taken up the entire screen so we can click here and we can actually choose a bunch of different free images so say we wanted it to look like this we can just select that image and then click X to go back here now sometimes it'll just say change image because the image isn't going to be the entire background. Now our text looks a bit off. For this example, I'm just going to change it to something else. So let's have a look through the different free backgrounds. Something like that maybe. And then we could change this color. We could make this white as well. I think that's gonna look good. Then we can also change the size of the text as well. So we could just change the size, make it a bit bigger. And then we can click and drag the box that the text is in to make it a bit wider. So as I said before, this doesn't look that great, but you can see just how easy it is to move everything around and edit everything. It literally is just click and drag. So we can click this bit of text here and click edit. And I'll just type, I built it with Wix. And we can change the color of that to say red. Oh, sorry, I just need to highlight it. And we can change it to red. And if at any point you want to see how your website's going to look without all the editing options, we can just click up in the top right where it says preview. Then once we're happy with everything, we can just click back to editor. Now we can change our title text in the same way. So I'm not called creative corner. So I could change this to say smart minded marketing instead. I literally just need to click edit text and then I could type in smart minded marketing. Then if I didn't want it to take up a second line, I just need to make this box a little bit bigger and then I can reposition it as well. And there isn't only the one page either. If we just click up on our menu at the top and then click navigate, you'll see here, this will be a list of the different pages. And you can also click at the bottom where it says add page to add more pages. So if we just click here for now, mine says find talent. You might have different named pages. This is a different page on our site. So once again, we can just click and drag the text around if we want to reposition it. And any icons you see like this, we can actually change these by clicking on them and clicking change shape. There's then a whole bunch of different icons and shapes that we can choose from. So I'll just choose a heart for this example. We can make it a little bit bigger. Then we can change this text as well and drag it around. So let's see how this looks like in a preview. Okay, so that's actually a moving background. That's pretty cool. Let's just go back to the editor and see how we can change this. I've never actually used this theme before and I haven't come across the video background. So let's just click on it and click change strip background. Okay, so it's basically just the same. Oh, there's videos as well. So if we just click videos, oh, we can add our own videos as the background as well. That's pretty cool. But for now, I'll just change it to a different image. Free from Wix. So there's all these different images we can use on our site as well. So just say, for example, I choose this one. This could be my background for that page. And then the paragraphs of text, we can change just like all the other text. And we can type more text. Or we can delete some. We can also change the font size. And the actual font itself. Then once we're happy, 
we can just position where we want it. And if we want the page to be longer, we can literally just drag the text on down and that's going to make the page bigger. Then this is a button which we can change the text on. So instead of contact us, we could make it say get in contact. And then if we click this link icon here, we can change which page on our site that it links to. So here in the top menu, we can just click this down pointing arrow and we can choose one of our different pages. So now instead of linking to our contact page, it's going to link to another page called find a job. So if we just click done here, we can click change text again and we'll change this button to now say find a job. Now if we just preview our site and we click this button where it says find a job, it's going to bring us to our other page that's called find a job. As you can see, editing websites with Wix is pretty easy. I'll show you another few things as well. If we change the title of a page, so if we go back to our find talent page and we change this text to say something else. So say for now, we'll just change it to say new page. Then we're obviously going to want the new title to reflect in the menu. So we don't want it to say find talent in the menu and then whenever the person gets here, it says new page. We would want it to say new page up in the menu. So to do that, you just click on your menu and click manage menu. Then here, we can just click the three dots beside the page and click page info. It's come up and recommended we save our work. I'm just gonna close this for now until I finish this example, but I do recommend you save your work at any chance you get. So here we can see it says, what's this page name on your menu? And it says find talent. So here we can just change the text in this box to say our new page title and then click done at the bottom. Now when we preview our site, we'll see it says new page in the menu when we're on the new page. We can also click to our home page and our other page which says find a job. We can also add other pages as well. And to do that, we just need to click on our navigation menu at the top and then click manage menu. Then at the bottom, you'll see here, it says add a page. We can just click on page and now we have a new page. We can click the plus icon on the left hand side to add content to our new page. So we can add an image or some text we can also add videos and music and loads of other different things as well. So for now, we'll just add some text and we'll add a paragraph. So here we can just click it into position and then we can click edit text and then type whatever we want. So this is my new page. I am going to add an image and a contact form. Then once we've added any text, we can add an image as well, just by clicking add and then image. Then we can either upload our own image or choose a free image from Wix. Once we're happy with our image, we can just click apply in the bottom right and that's going to add the image to our page. Then we can just position it we can also resize it. And then as I said in the text, I'm going to show you how to add a contact form as well. So just click the plus icon on the left hand side and you'll see here it says contact. We can just choose which theme we'd like. I'm going to go for the lighter one. And here you'll see we have our contact form. We can resize it the same way as images. And we can also change the colors by clicking this paintbrush icon here. We can customize the design. Say instead of a yellow button, we wanted a red one. We can do that easy enough. We can also change how the form looks. I think this form looks a lot better. So we'll use this one. 
then probably the most important part of adding a contact form is make sure you click here where it says set your email. Then you just want to enter the email address that you want associated with this contact form in here. Then when your visitor comes along, they can type in their name, email address, subject and message. And then whenever they click send, the message is going to be sent straight to your email inbox as an email. We can also change the color of a page background by clicking on the page and then clicking change page backgrounds. We can choose between different free images. Or once again, we can just choose plain colors. We can just preview our page and make sure we're happy with everything. Then once we are, we can click back to editor and now we can save our work. So here I would recommend just typing the title of your website. So for me, it would be Smart Minded Marketing. And then just click Save and Continue. So as you can see here, it says your site was saved. And when you publish, the following will be your domain. So my website's going to be found at marty32.wix.com forward slash Smart Minded Marketing, which isn't really a great URL, but there is an option to upgrade your account, which I'll cover at the end. So once you've saved your site, we can just click done and we can look through our different pages and just make sure that everything's the way we want it. Once we're happy with our new website, we can just click in the top right where it says publish. And as you can see, we're going to get a message that says, congratulations, your site is published and is live online. It's then going to give you the URL that you can use to visit your site or else you can click this visit site button. Now the URLs that we normally get from Wix are pretty terrible. Like as you can see, mine is marty32.wix.com forward slash smart minded marketing. Now it's going to be a much better idea and a lot more brandable for our business to have say smartmindedmarketing.com instead. To do that you just want to click underneath where it says upgrade now. And then here it's going to show us the different upgrade options that Wix have. As you can see it only costs £3.88 which is probably about 5 or $6 a month. And that's to get your very own professional website up and running with your own custom domain. That's going to be a lot better for your business and a lot more brandable. If you just scroll down, you'll see all the different things that come with the plan, such as hosting and your domain name. You get the domain name for free along with the hosting, so that's pretty good. Most places charge you around 12 or $13 for the domain alone. One of the most awesome things that come with it are these Google AdWords vouchers. So you get $75 worth of AdWords vouchers to advertise your site. And the hosting itself is only costing you around five or $6 a month. So I really do recommend upgrading the site, but you don't really have to. You can just keep your free website with the long domain. But if you are serious about your business and you do really want a brandable website, which is going to have an easy to remember domain, take advantage of the upgrade offer. It does also come with a 14 day money back guarantee, so you've really got nothing to lose. So that's how simple it is to create your very own website using Wix. Once again, my name's Marty from smartmindedmarketing.com and I really hope that you find this tutorial helpful. And more importantly, I hope you've now got an amazing looking website that you can use to help with your business. Thanks again if you visited Wix through my affiliate link. And if you're just going to create your site now, once again, that was smartmindedmarketing.com forward slash Wix, or else you can just click the link below this video. Thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.